No more crime. We're not speaking any crime into this world. No good, dude. We are starting on stream. <laughs> Damn, it's all start. It's already started. Okay. Recap. You finished all the ghost missions and made a true ally of the god of death, as well as helped <laughs> Ruzello come back to his full strength. Yay. Uh, you also redeemed quite a few more of your homies. Yay! Ooh. Second Yay. timeline crew figured out a lot more about Ray and Kira and made a lot of progress regarding Kira's emotions, uh, what with the device to regulate it and all. You also learned a bit about exactly what Ray is doing and that she seems to be holding a lot of Kira's traumatic memories, which is both a blessing and a curse given this is also why Kira is having nightmares that grant Ray almost full control. And fourth timeline crew is still working on Reed, and the third timeline crew is working on Zare. Right. And we're gonna start with the third timeline crew. Yay! What would you like to do? It's the next morning. Uh, after all the whack shit happened. Um, <laughs> Leon's sleeping the fuck in. What time is it actually? Um, I'd say it's nine. He's sleeping the fuck in. Um. <laughs> That's good. Um, Josie awake like always. Yeah. Per queen. Love her. What is Sabor doing? Hmm. Um. I don't know. Maybe she's just taking a walk around the palace. Okay. Yay. That's all I got. Really. It's just Strahd. Strahd's there. Strahd is not with you. <gasps> where is he? You actually don't know where he is. I he don't know where he knew, is. knew, and he did not come to bed last night. Huh. I'm going to look for him then. Okay. I want you to make a perception check. Oh, I need to get my fucking sheets out. Uh, I know that. I So now I feel like I'm going to die. Uh, Twelve. Yay. Um, you look around and you don't see him um, anywhere inside the palace. So you think perhaps with an investigation check. <gasps> okay. You might be able to figure out exactly where he is. That's awesome because I have plus eight and advantage. Hey! Uh, 23. Yay! Nice. Uh, you wander up and uh, you're wandering around and you see... Um, on the balcony, you see Lucian and Zare. Not Zare, Strahd. Wow! I was about to say, holy Zare. shit! Wow! Y'all say Zare! Strahd! <laughs> villain and villain, I get confused. Wow! I'm not oh. Lucian and Zare, heart ripped out, dead. <laughs> wow. Holy no, shit. No, I'm kidding, guys. Um, no, you see Lucian and Strahd. Okay. And, um, We're okay with that. Yeah, they're, they're chilling on the, the balcony. Um, but Lucian seems a little bit upset. And I assume you don't walk straight out, right? Okay. Because um, it's weird seeing Lucian and Strahd talk to each other. So you eavesdrop. Um, okay. So when you find them, you see Lucian sitting on the balcony of the palace. And he seems to be crying. Um, and, uh, he seems to be crying to Strahd, oddly enough. Okay. Um, and Lucian says, I'll never be good enough to live up to mom's standards, Aww. and I'm not going to live up to my dad's legacy if I can't even redeem myself when all of their lives depend on it. Oh, damn. And, uh, sad about it. You, you see, uh, Strahd, like, Strahd was kind of staring out off into the distance. Um, but when Lucian said this, he kind of looks at him. Um, and he almost seems to be listening. <gasps> Oddly enough, <gasps> really? Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah. Um, and Lucian says, and he doesn't look at Strahd, he kind of looks away when Strahd looks at him, um, because he gets self-conscious. <laughs> but he said, um, he says, in Rosello's soul, I had a choice save Rosello and my family, or save the world. And I chose my family. Aww. And I was shown the parallels between this situation and when I revived Josie at the cost of my life and in that alternate reality. But even then, I still chose Rosello 
and my family, despite the consequences. I almost killed everyone that I loved growing up in Barovia, and I refused to do it again. Oh. Because I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I knew there was a chance that I could have saved them. I didn't try. And um, you you see and hear Lucian's voice break a little bit as he talks. Mm. Um, and he he sniffles. And uh, you see tears stream down his face. And you watch as Strahd, as empathetically as he can, actually pats Lucian's back. He oh. goes, pat, pat. I need to run to the bathroom again. And um, uh-huh. Strahd sighs. And um, Strahd says, I will never be able to live up to my own mother or father's legacy either. And I don't think that I will ever be redeemable either. Uh, a long time ago, I killed the only person who, ever truly lo- I, who I ever truly loved because I could not lose him, but I lost him anyway. I tried for a lot of years to forget that pain, but it stayed and festered into a monster of its own making. And I made a lot of poor choices and mistakes. But then, one day, that person was reincarnated, and with him came the love of my life. And he got, and I got a lot more scared than ever before. No, I got defensive. If I lost him, let alone her, I truly lose my mind, which was because these two were the only things I had left. And my sanity was the only thing I had left. So if there was a choice that ever arose for me to choose between Sabora and Saren versus the world, I would choose them every time because they are, because if they are gone, I don't have anything left because no one else will stand with me stand by me and stay at my side no matter what and um he kind of he looks down and um he's it's almost like he's speaking to himself um as he continues and he says that may be selfish of me but i'm too scared to chance braving that reality and uh you see a tear streak from Strahd's eye. Oh. Um, and he wipes it away and he continues, but he doesn't do the voice cracking like Lucian. He's not that vulnerable. Yeah. Um, but he says, you are not at fault for loving too much and fearing all that you could lose. It is scary. But when you are so consumed by the fear of loss and love too much, too hard, you can begin to smother the people that you love and that can make you lose them too. I did that with Titania and I, and his voice trails off, and he changes the subject a little bit, and says, perhaps if I was a little more like you, I'd have realized that sooner and saved everyone a lot of pain and heartache. Unlike me, Lucian, you are a good kid, and we all know you'll make the right choice if the time ever came, because you, you are selfless. And uh, you see Lucian smile, and he says, A lot of people need you too, Strahd, and you're a part of my family too, for good or for bad, mostly for bad. And that means when I say I'd sacrifice everything for my family, that includes you. I may not stand by every decision you make, and I will hold you responsible for them, but I will stay by your side no matter what. We all will, because that's what families do. You just have to open your eyes and see yours. And he kind of gives like a sympathetic smile to Strahd. And uh, he too pats him on the back in the same (laughs) sympathetic way. Uh, And he stands and he says, thank you for listening. Um, And he kind of wipes his face. Uh, And Lucian teleports out. um, And Strahd turns to where Lucian was, and he mumbles to himself almost, and he says, family, huh? <laughs> That's where that conversation ends. Aww. Oh, sweet. He can console somebody. 
Okay. And I'm gonna put that in Discord for you, Jack, to look at. I was just sitting on the stream you. as I was sh- like dying on the toilet. <laughs> um. Oh, well, that's good. I, um, I was dying. For all of our, I'm still gonna put. That. I think it's a really cute scene. It is. Yeah, just, just do it anyway. Add it, add it, man, so we can pin it to the channel. Um, it's in two forms, so it's, we got the Lucian part and the Strahd part, so, and it's in third person, um, which is why I was stuttering. Um, but this illustrates Strahd does realize some of his mistakes and his actions. That's he good. He is learning his way. Oh my god, redemption! Okay. It might actually be possible yet. Mm-hmm. It's just going to be a lot harder for him. Yeah, but he can do it. He can do he it. He can do it. Uh, what would you like to do from here? Strahd seems to stay out there. Um, he doesn't really move. He just kind of lays down and just stares at the roof. <laughs> Um, <laughs> she'll, <laughs> she'll kind of leave him to his Idle thoughts, okay. and, um, she will go see, I don't know, um, I don't know. Maybe she'll go see Saren? I was about to say, you want to check on your brother? Yeah. <laughs> He's been, you haven't checked him in a hot minute. Uh, yeah, okay. You go and you visit Saren. And currently he is in uh, the lab. And he's with Shanra and Allura. Um, he glances towards you and he double, double does a double glance. And he goes, oh, hi. Hey. What are you up to? I don't know. Just walking around. Oh. What That's are weird. you up to? I'm investigating. He says, um, so me and Shanra were looking into the city that Zare and his, like, minions resided. Mm-hmm. Um, but <laughs> they moved because, you know, they obviously knew we'd find them. Right. Um, but there were traces of teleportation magic there. And I wasn't able to definitively identify where they moved off to. But if I was present near the same magic, um, like where the other half of the teleportation magic was casted, I right. would know where this was. Um, this also does um, imply that they are still on Earth. So that's good, too. They're not on Nick Cerberus. That's good. Okay. Um I am glad you're here, though, because I'm a little worried about Strahd. Why? Um, so I, I went into, uh, well, he went into my, uh, no, I went into his headspace. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It gets a little blurry. Um, I went into his headspace. It was, it was, it, it was a little rough. Um, and he kind of pulls you to the side and he says, so I don't know what it was like for you, but for me, I went in and it was kind of desolate, like alone and depressing. I mean, Strahd was basically completely alone there and... In everything that I saw, he believed that he would be the reason everyone would die to Cerberus because he couldn't let go of the part of him that wants so badly to protect us. Because he's scared if he doesn't hold on so tightly to us, that will leave just like everyone else has. Or, worse, um, he'll push us away like he did with my past self, Sergei. Um... But when he uh, did that one thing, um, there's a lot of one things for him. Uh, Abaddon, he kind of threw himself in that Abaddon portal. Yeah, he does that a lot. Um, but that's kind of what 
I guess redeemed me is I I saw Strahd in all of his flaws and for all the things that he's done and I chose not to leave him because it wasn't the most logical choice which is I guess what I usually do um, but it was the most empathetic and what would what would have been the logical choice um, I don't know if you remember everything that Strahd's done but um, it's a lot and the logical choice would be to run for the fucking hills um, but I'm not gonna do that yeah for obvious reasons uh-huh. Because I just so happened to see hope and um, redemption in him, and I care about him. Uh, but the logical choice would be to run for the hills. And to be fair, the past version of me, Sergey, um, probably would have. I mean, that's kind of what I did when we got to Barovia. I don't know if you remember all that. I mean, he was kind of like villainous at that time so I guess yeah he wasn't exactly our friend at that point no but I didn't give him a lot of chances either but it's a little it's a little you know it's a little wonky hazy but it was kind of sad um seeing all of that so I was gonna I just want to let you know that I was worried about him okay Well, I saw him and uh, Lucian having a talk earlier, and he was able to, um... Wait, him and Lucian? Mm Mm-hmm. They never talk. Uh, This is the second time I've seen them talk, actually. Really? Mm -hmm. I thought Lucian hated him. That's news to me. Okay. Yeah. He was like... I, well, first Lucian was crying. He was upset about something. And then, because, <laughs> you know, self-worth and the lack thereof. Yeah. And then Strahd was like, I wish I was like you, and I kind of know how you feel. And um, and then Lucian was like, well, you might do bad things, and I'll hold you accountable for them, but you're still my family. Oh. And then they kind of, like, pat each other on the back, and then... Lucian left, and then Strahd laid down on the floor. (laughs) (laughs) Strahd laid down on the floor. Yeah, Yeah, that sounds just like him. So, I didn't didn't make my presence known, so I didn't know I was there. Okay, well, it seems like they kind of figured out their feelings a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. It seems like a hopeful situation in the way of redemption. Well, that's good. Cause I, I um, I was also worried about Lucian, but he's kind of been avoiding people. I guess except Strahd. Yeah. I guess when you find somebody that's also being emo depressive, and you see another person being emo depressive, it's a lot easier to go to the emo depressive than the non emo depressive. I don't know. Even if they do have a. Less than stellar past. Yeah. Especially with you yourself. Yeah, his track record's not too great, but he's trying. Uh-huh. We're bonding. To, to an, he's, he's trying. He's doing his damnedest. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But, basically right now, I'm working on retrieving more information on Zare, and... Shauna's helping me because she said something about um, her not wanting to go on missions. After that? That's probably from, from the whole Archeon. She um, went to Archeon Soul, so. <laughs> and uh, she didn't really explain, and I didn't really ask. Um, and Allura kind of gave me, like, the eyes to not ask, so I'm not going yeah. to ask. Okay. Um, but essentially she's gonna she's, she's gonna be my buddy and help me do some research so I'll let you know when I find something okay otherwise I guess have fun as well, much fun as you can yeah <laughs> if you need someone to investigate something I'm good at no, investigating you know what I'll let you know I am so good at investigating um I'm a basic guy she have advantage plus a plus eight. Yeah, bro. She can't fail. 
Maybe you could ask Spring if she knows anything else about the Zora thing for me and then get back to me. Okay. Cool. See you later. Bye. Bye. She, she runs away. She just goes fast. Um, she goes to Spring. Um, so Spring and Leaf are in the throne room together, and mm-hmm. you notice, um, Leaf still has black veins traveling up him, and his eyes are still black, and he still has a very, very strong corruption magic aura to him, mm-hmm. um, and you notice Spring keeps, like, They'll be talking about something, and Spring will keep, like, an extra eye, like, an extra glance at him, um, and you think that she's worried, um, but Leaf seems a little annoyed by all of the, the, um, worriedness. From her? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Um, but you walk up, and, uh, Spring notices you, and she says, oh, hi. Hi. Um, I just talked to Saren. And he wanted me to come ask you if you had any more information on Zare. Um, she looks through her papers and she's like, not really. No one's reported anything on a sighting, but I don't think he's on Nick Cerberus at all. And while the creators have helped by putting out, you know, warrants and stuff for his arrest down there too, it's, he knows how to hide. Yeah. And that's the hard part, so... It seems like until he makes a plan or takes action that there's not much we're going to actually be able to do. Right. Unless we find the army, which, I mean, I guess we could send Saren out, like, a search dog and have him just, like, sniff around. I can do that, too. (laughs) I'm good at investigating. You are? I'm so good at it. I'm so good at investigating. I have a plus A. (laughs) She Without said, breaking the she fourth She thinks wall. for a moment and she says, um, how about we take a day first? Okay. I feel like everything's been a little hectic. Yeah. That we should take a breath and we'll do our, like, little research stuff yeah. here. Because I'm also worried that if anyone leaves that they're going to get, like, killed or kidnapped by Zare. Yeah. That would not be good. Yeah, no. Probably not. Um... And, uh, Leaf says, does Saren have any information? Uh, they are on Earth. Nice! Okay. Yeah. (laughs) That's, you know, great. (laughs) Um, I'm glad we got that. Um, he did say something about, like, teleportation magic, and that he would be able to do something if he, like, was able to be around remnants of it. Mm. Okay, then we'll have to look into that a little more. Yeah. Um, and as he talks to you, he seems okay. He doesn't seem, like, off or anything. That's good. Um, you think that his powers and the amount that he used, his body is just not accustomed to it. So he has to kind of like wind down and cool down. Right. Like the engine cool of a car. Yeah. Some skill cool down. <laughs> um, but they kind of like, uh, they kind of chatter with you a little more about um, the situation and everything. But generally, it seems that they don't have any information. Um, and they get all of the information that you have to supply them with. And then okay. Leaf says, well, thank you for coming by anyway. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. 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 She she runs back down to Saren. <laughs> Saren says, "What'd you get? What'd you find Nothing. out?" Nothing. <laughs> uh, well, that's not the kind of. Okay, that's not what I wanted. That's yeah. Okay. Um. They kind of want to wind down right now after yesterday's event. Yeah, that's probably why a lot of people died. Where's Josie? I don't know. Somewhere. <laughs> Maybe you should find mom. It's weird for her to be asleep this long. What time is it? Um, it is just nine. Oh. <laughs> it is just nine! But okay. it's weird for her to be asleep till nine. Or sleeping at all. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go find her. Okay, let me know if she's dying. I don't know. 
Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> she, ru- she runs to... Stop uh, running! She runs <laughs> to her and I imagine her Naruto running. Just... <laughs> I, I see, like, she's so into Jessie it. Jessie kind of like took some time to herself. She's probably sitting in the library. It's like all dark and everything. All she hears are like these footsteps. <gasps> Boom! <laughs> the whole light just gets poured into the fucking room. She's like, <laughs> I don't oh know the God. light that comes in. Jessie's like drinking like I don't know blood glass. I she's guess. drinking alcohol this early in the morning. Oh my I'm, God! She's drinking a single wine glass. Well, yeah. I guess it's filled with blood. I don't know. <laughs> Wine doesn't affect really her at all. Blood spiked wine. Blood spiked oh wine, God. I guess. And she's just sitting in the library with some more and she just busts in. Yeah, she busts in. And she's like, Jessie's Mom! Like, and she's like, I'm sitting here. I'm. I am sitting here. And you're not dying. No. You're good. Yes. Okay. Got anything to tell me that I can tell Saren? So she's like, well, personally, I haven't left the palace today, so... That's good. We're not leaving the palace today. We're not leaving the palace today. Spring said so. Well, then, I'll listen to Spring. I won't leave the palace today. Okay. I was planning to earlier, but just to, like, go grab something, but that was about it. Like what? Like, I don't know, food? (laughs) You don't need to go anywhere. (laughs) That's such a stark statement! (laughs) She's like, I don't need to go anywhere. Okay. <laughs> she's like, where's Shamil? She's sleeping. She's a late sleeper. Okay. <laughs> where's Leon? <laughs> Where, where's Leon? I think he decided to sleep in with Archeon today. Archeon is not in bed. Oh, is he not in bed? Damn. Okay, well then he... And Leon's probably out about too, so... As like well, Arkan wakes up and gets out of bed, then Leon's out of bed. But Jesse probably doesn't know what Leon's doing. She's like, I actually have no idea what he's doing. Okay. So, See ya. See ya. She goes, I guess, to check on Chevelle too. She don't fucking sleep as fuck, bro. You gonna knock on a damn door? If it's locked. This is- Since oh, if it's locked, she'll just she'll just do knock on it. Knock well, on it. She'll cast knock on it and open it. <laughs> Giant blanket covering she's like one bit, little fucking She's like this block. much, and then, like, the if this is the blanket, like, she's like here. Yeah. <laughs> Stop! She, like, quietly opens the door and looks in. She's still asleep. She's like, okay, she's asleep. So she, like, gently closes the door. Don't wake her up, because that's how she's awake. Once you wake her up, she's awake. Yeah, she's fine. Um, well, I guess she'll go to Leon and Archeon's room now. Yeah, what's, I guess what's Archeon doing since Leon was moving? Mm, you don't know. I don't know? Mm-mm. Damn, we're not doing it where Archeon went? No. Is anyone there even the He left room? way, 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 way early. Okay, he's probably looking. I mean, you probably, like, woke up and were like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then you're like, oh, he's probably gonna come back. He did not come back. <laughs> Dang. You're probably, Leon will probably be wandering about and he's gonna ask Sabora, have you seen Archeon? No. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, that is crazy. I'll see you around, Leon. See you, see you, Sabora. <laughs> She's gonna go back to Zaren now. <laughs> Zaren looks at you and he goes, Hey! Archeon's gone. No, he's not. Where is he? He's on Earth. <gasps> he's on Earth. Why? He's talking to Girl in Tower? Well, okay. That's why Allura's watching Chandra. I want to uh, see, see, see what he's talking to Girl okay. Tower about. I love Girl and Tower. <laughs> Leon, Leon didn't know where he went, so. Allura. Yes? Did he leave a note for Leon? No. Um, Allura's <laughs> like, no, but I'm supposed to tell him when he wakes up. Watch Shamra for a minute. Okay. And she fucking bolts. Um, and you see Allura approach you rapidly. And he's like, oh, something happened? I am sorry. I was supposed to tell you where Leon, where, where oh. Archeon was going. He went to, um, visit the second timeline crew because he wanted to talk to Girl in Tower because he was contemplating having a family dinner and wanted to invite her. Oh, oh okay. That sounds so good. So just kind of been... 
out and about. As long as he's safe, that's cool. Previously, me. before that, he was watching Shonra, but then he mm. went to go talk to Golan Tower. Okay. Um, but a lot, a lot's been happening regarding his Shonra specifically. Mm. Okay. You might want to well, talk to her about that. Yeah, I'll probably ask her about it because I'm curious. But also, like, as long as he's safe, that's cool. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Speaking of, Archeon comes back. Cool. He's like, how's your shot with Grom Tower? He says, uh, it was good. This weekend mm-hmm. is when we are going to have a family dinner. And everyone in this entire palace is coming. Okay. I'll tell everyone. Everyone. Then. I'll tell everyone then. No one is allowed to bail. <laughs> and- Not even death can pull you from this dinner. <laughs> what is he playing? We are specific. Yes. He's like, death won't pull me away from any dinner. Okay. He's like... I hope not. He's like, I mean, you died last time. <laughs> this time... <laughs> I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> Same about me. But he's like, I'll go tell everyone about the dinner then. <laughs> yeah, he'll go like around <laughs> and tell everyone. And Archeon goes back over to uh, Chandra. Cool. Uh, and you, Tabora, see... Uh, Archeon walk-in with Allura. And he goes, Hi, oh, I don't usually see you in here. Um, I was talking to people. You do. Yeah. You were? Uh-huh. That's out of character. <laughs> and he took my spot for the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. I, I, go ahead, girl. You, you don't talk to them often. <laughs> um, yeah. I was just walking around. But I saw these people talking, and then I came to talk to him, and I went and talked to her and him, and I came back her to him, him, and then I went and talked to her, her, and him. He didn't know where you were, so when I came back to He him, turns and he looks at Allura, and Allura's like, I'm sorry. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> really bad. I explained. And he's like, <laughs> he and he's like bro, okay. Well, yeah. that's nice. So he didn't know, and then I got worried, because Spring was like, nobody's leaving the palace today. So I'm like, he's gone. And then I came to talk to he's them, gone. and then she's like, oh, fuck. And then she runs off, and then now we're here. Well, sounds like you've had an eventful morning. Productive. Um, what are you going to do with the rest of your day confined in here, I suppose? I don't know. I know, it's a lot of options. Where's your husband? He's just chilling. He's laying on the balcony. Last time I checked. He had a heart-to-heart with Lucian. Husbands are like that, I suppose. Yes. Pensive. Um. <laughs> Not weird. <laughs> Some, I suppose. <laughs> Some husbands. He's sometimes, he's sometimes pensive. <laughs> well, I suppose it's good that um, he didn't jump off the balcony. <laughs> I think he'd be fine if he did, though. He's a vampire. He'd be like, oh, <laughs> oh. He is a vampire, that's right. He's a, he's a little bit indestructible. Just a little, Just a little bit. Just a little. Just like you. Josie yeah. and Shaw being killed in the same fight. <laughs> Last fight. And me. <laughs> and, and Lucian. And Lucian. Well, not and Lucian. Everyone but fucking leave. Yeah. yeah. Crying. Screaming. Uh, and, uh, Shonra, um, while you guys are having a conversation, sits. she says, I'm gonna go on a walk. I'll be back. And she walks out, and Archeon goes to say something, and Allura's just like, just let her have a little space. A little space. Okay? And Archeon's like, he does his pouty face, and he's like, fine, I'll just stay in here. I'll do nothing. I'll just sit in the lab and be empty space, and just take up take up space, and just be useless, and just be unhelpful. Are we Okay. Well, I died yesterday, so no. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> she was dead too. I was. I also died yesterday. Are you okay? Baby. Better than expected, I think. That's so well, that's fair. Good. That's such a fair statement. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, you know, excellent. 
Um, I have died before a couple times, I think. I have too. It's it crazy. does not get easier for no. me. No, not at all. Um, actually, perhaps you could do me a favor. Perhaps you could talk to my daughter for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Try your luck and see if you can get anything out of her. About what? How she's feeling. Okay. Is there anything I need to know beforehand? No. Okay. Nothing too crazy happened in my my mind, I don't think. Okay. Sorry, this is an awkward crunchily, crunkling, crunkling. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> All right. I love this. Sabora. Bye. Bye. I love this Sabora walking around. Home. This is a. Funny it is pretty funny to be honest. It's <laughs> really funny. I told, it's like a side episode of fucking Sephora <laughs> and her daily adventures. My characters have had enough. They're just chilling right now. It's Sephora's turn. Sephora and her daily adventures. This is my episode. <laughs> this is episode. I'm just day chilling here. Um, I'm drawing sweetest fish. Are you? No. They're pretty good. <laughs> They're pretty good. <laughs> Me. That was like time to the second, accurate to my brain processing what you said. <laughs> it was a no. <laughs> <laughs> like you said it, but it took me a second to actually realize what you said. It's like when I said henna. <laughs> you're like, I yeah, she told. I asked what was on her hand, or she goes henna. I'm like. She thought I said oh. I know, or something like that. Oh. Like I did not know she said that. Um. You go after Chandra? I do. Okay. You go after her and she notices you following her and she turns and she goes, Hello. Hi. Um. Why are you following me? No reason. No reason. Um. I'll keep walking? (laughs) She she speeds up a little bit to walk beside her. Who's a character? She's like, We haven't really talked, like, Ever? Ever, yeah. I've noticed. <laughs> um, I feel like we haven't really gotten a chance yet, because I feel like this is like one of the first times we've been in close contact-ish? Yeah. Um, so I guess I wanted to have a chat. Okay. Small talk. Conversation. Small talk. Whatever. Weather. Um... <laughs> It seemed pleasant when I saw him outside briefly. Oh, that's nice. You probably heard earlier when I was talking to Sarah, but Spring said that we're not allowed to leave the castle today. Yeah, I did. I did hear that. Okay. <laughs> I want to make sure you do. Oh, well, thank you for letting me know. Uh huh. How about the Mets? <laughs> The Mets, you got it. The Mets, you got it. Oh, the, the Mets. Mets. I thought you said meds, like pills. I'm like, huh? The, the Mets, the Mets, the guy in the Mets. <laughs> How about the Mets? What about the Mets? Huh? The Mets? What's that? Fucking Mets. Um. <laughs> just kidding, kidding. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Huh. You're not very good at this, are you? No. I can tell. That's okay. <laughs> what do you want to ask? <laughs> How you're feeling? Mm. I feel okay. But inside it. <laughs> I'm drawing Swedish. Shut the up. <laughs> that was so funny. Eleven. <laughs> you think she's telling the truth? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I'm still on my deaths and success saves. You're still dying. We're not, yeah, we're not over that yet. This is all um, a dream. I got a full rest her. I'll go her. She says, Did my dad ask you to check on me? Maybe. Maybe. He's a little bit of a worry wart. Yeah, I could tell. Um, <laughs> he looked like he was worrying. Yeah, because I went into my dad's mind, if you remember. Well, you don't remember, you were dead. But I went into my dad's <laughs> mind because he was dead. Yeah. And so I was like, I'm going to save my dad. And 
when I went in, don't tell him this. Okay. But I saw a lot of the his pain and the things and the mistakes that he's hid and made over the years. What did that consist of? Um, he hasn't always made the best decisions, but they're not, like, straw decisions that are bad. Well, that's good, at least. They're, like, <laughs> morally ambiguous. Not yeah. just blatant black and white, like, straw. No offense right. to straw. Um, I mean, he, he fits in with yeah. the rest of us. Yeah. In that regard. He fits in with you perfectly. Um, that is to say, um, that, um... I kind of, I kind of realized that um, he doesn't want me to make the same mistakes that he didn't. Right, and naturally. And he wants me to be safe. Um, and I kind of realized that it's not all about me and what I want, and that I kind of have to accept that my dad's not perfect. <laughs> That is a fact of life. And I guess that's why I got redeemed. Because afterwards, I had like a glowy line around me. <laughs> you did get, you get, you get redeemed. See? I'm so, I'm so good at this. All I had to do is not be selfish. And realize my dad was a person. Yeah. Anyway, he's a worry wart. But I love him. I'm he okay, worries because he cares. Yeah, and I figured that I didn't want to make him worry as much, so I'm just going to help Saren. Okay. Also, I don't really want to die. <laughs> not again. <laughs> yeah, she's the only one that has not suffered a death. Because she hasn't gone on missions. She's the only safe one. Yeah, um, best way to do that is to not go on missions with us. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of realized that after the last one when my dad died. Yeah. For like the third time. <laughs> and that was only that was only the second half of everything. There was still the whole battle that led up to that. So, you know, we were doing pretty well. <laughs> That's like a lot. And I would rather make everything sparkly and safe here. And that's that's what valid. I do. Not daughter. all of us can be heroes. I'm a hero in my own way. Maybe sure. when I get a little older and my dad is dead, I'll be a hero. <laughs> and when he's probably planning to be fucking immortal at fucking 500 or 600. She says, have you noticed? Notice what? She chose you and pulls you over to a window. And as you approach, um, you see bars yes, up here. Uh-huh. And... They're invisible upon, like, a distance, but as you get close, they're visible, and they're sparkly. Oh, that's nice. And they're not, like, prison bars, but, like, sparkly, glittery, glittery bars that don't, that aren't actually bars, but, like, magic. Um, like a magical barrier? Mm-hmm. That's good. And she says, I did that. Hey. On every window. Awesome. Because I figured that it's not safe here. Yeah. And there's a lot of ways that bad people could get in. That was it. That's hey. the thing about having a big house is that there's a lot you gotta cover. See? Yeah, this place is huge. Yeah. I like it though. It's like I live in my school. <laughs> That's good, I think. It is. Schools are big. Yes. Has never been to school. <laughs> are you going are you going to come to the family dinner? I think we're all required to, so yeah. I mean, you're not required. My dad might hate you for it, but you're not required. <laughs> My dad I hold up for I prefer to not get on that side of your dad. My him see, him seeing go fucking mental for Leon is enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it would be beneficial for everyone if we all liked each other. So you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna come to all the family dinners and stuff. Oh, I mean, why not? Because you're family, right? Yeah. Her. Okay, then I'll come to you with all my problems. Okay. 
She slips away. <laughs> Look what you've done. You've still the pact. She says, and, and as she skips away, she stops and she turns and she says, I'm going to make something for you. And then she runs off. Uh-oh. <laughs> Leon probably hears that a mile away. He's like, oh no. <laughs> um, she see, goes back down to- You see a text uh, on your phone? He's like, watch out for the glitter. Like, ominous, like, horror text. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? And um, he spells every word wrong because he's Leon. Yeah. He's still been He's like, what the fuck is this? Watch out for the glider. Glider. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Actually, actually glides into the window and it's Sephora. <laughs> well, it wouldn't do that because there's bars. <laughs> Why is this a fly? Fly glide. What do you do? Uh, go back down to everyone else. Um, you see Archeon, uh, waiting anxiously for you. He stares at you. <laughs> She's cool. <laughs> How did it go? Good. Really? Yeah. Just okay? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't know, I kind of thought me dying would traumatize her a little more. <laughs> um... Well, if she's not okay, she masked it well. But she did tell me that, um, hold on, Claire wrecking her brain for how to say words. She told me that she knows you. Now, because she went in your soul. That's a good way to put it. She understands you at your core. <laughs> That's not intimidating. Okay. Cool. Well, at least she doesn't hate me. Hmm. She doesn't hate you. That's good, at least. Um. Well, that's that's all the missions I guess we have for you. Okay. I guess. Have fun. I should probably check on Strahd now. Yeah. You know, that might be wise. He like was a... on a balcony earlier. <laughs> yeah. Staring at the sky. She goes, after saying bye. He is no longer on the balcony. Oh, no. Man. Has he got Shit. Up? Shit. Fuck, man. Fuck. Um, she goes out on the balcony herself. <laughs> no, it's her turn. She looks over the ledge. <laughs> He's not down there. Okay. That's it's good. It's turn to be on the balcony now. <laughs> um, I want you to make a uh, perception check. The dice got stuck. Two. Five. Yeah. Um, you're standing there and you suddenly hear a voice from behind you say, Did you think that I jumped off the balcony? No. Um. No. <laughs> then I don't know why you're looking off the edge. Um, enjoy the scenery. Uh huh. <laughs> That's what they all say. I'm about to jump. He says, uh, but did you need these or something? Uh, no, I just wanted to check on you. Oh, I'm okay. Are you? I mean, you heard my whole conversation with Lucian, so... <laughs> you already know what I'm feeling. You knew I was there? <laughs> yes. Shit. <laughs> man, <laughs> Damn no. it. Fuck, man. He says, so... You, you are not the best at sneaky. Fuck. But I am quite perceptive. <laughs> so... Yeah, no, you were not going to get away with that one. But that's okay. I would not have had the conversation that I had um, if I did not, if I was not okay with you hearing the conversation. That's good. But you know the gist of it. I do, I think that we're all going to die. I think we're on a good track. These are two polar opposite opinions. <laughs> um, why do you think we are on a good track? Well, like four or five people got redeemed yesterday. So that's good. Yes, but I, nor Lucian, nor multiple other people actually got redeemed. 
Not all of us are the souls. I was kidding, I was kidding. All we have left of us is Josie, me, Lucian, and you. Yeah. That yeah. is the problem. Me and Yozzy and Lucian. <laughs> We're not the easiest to redeem. Y'all can do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> because there is nothing to say. <laughs> because you know damn well that perhaps Josie, perhaps Lucian, perhaps they can be redeemed. But I quite literally have massacred millions of people. And? Well. Not always willingly, but it still stands. Cerberus did give me one free pass. <laughs> for somebody. He did? Yeah. Why? Um, just has, in case. He has hope in us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you're going to use that one on, but I hope it's not me because Josie's going to give you a run for your money. Well, I guess we'll see who it is when it comes down to it. I suppose so. But... How are you going to redeem Yozzy? <laughs> What's the life-threatening situation you're going to throw her in? <laughs> well, I don't know. But I can't get redeemed until y'all other hoes get redeemed. <laughs> so <laughs> y'all other hoes get redeemed! So, yeah, my life is in y'all's hands, too. How are you... How do you think you are supposed to get redeemed? <sighs> By taking care of all... Everyone else? Managing my little project? For some reason, I think it's a little more complex than that, love. Probably. That probably? We gotta think, see that shit come on. Um, right. My redemption is not at the forefront of my mind right now. Okay. It's a little bit less imminent. Yes, it's a little less imminent, I suppose. There are also multiple other people who also have not been redeemed. Like... A lot of the second timeline, actually. Yeah, I left them out because we're talking about us right now. But <laughs> yeah, all basically all of their kids. They um, something coming from perhaps them. you can go redeem them today. Wow! Wow! Clap, clap, you're clap, so clap, clap. right. <laughs> um, I don't know how you are going to do that, but you can figure it out. We can facilitate things. I don't know. Yeah, perhaps you could get something out of the kids. Or Maybe. the Idris guy who got uh, <laughs> fucking cool. manipulated by um, Imani. Yeah. Hey, and you can also you can also check on um, what? Kira and mm-hmm. see how she is doing. Okay. Because I have not heard good things. No. Good thing she's already redeemed though. <laughs> But she can get unredeemed, but I don't think this is going to be a... Unredeemable thing? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of out of her control a Probably bit. not. You want to uh, come with me? Sure. Okay. Do you want to assemble a crew? I don't think it's that big of a deal. <laughs> I think we need to bring someone. Who do you want to bring? One other person. Do you want to bring Lucian? No. Lucian's busy. What's he doing? He's in his realm and visiting his dad. He had not talked to his dad in a couple of days. Dang. Well, who do you want to bring? I think we should bring Josie. Because maybe it will light a fire under Josie to get her to redeem herself. (laughs) Yeah, that's probably a good point. Okay. Um, yeah. She was hanging out in the library last when I checked. Say less. And he fucking zoomed. <laughs> Say less! God, she shut the door again. It's nice and quiet. This time she's reading a book. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> it is time to go. Where are we going? We are going on a redemption mention. Okay. <laughs> she was a redemption mention. <laughs> <laughs> I know this stuff. You leave me alone. <laughs> it was funny. I liked it. <laughs> 
she <laughs> they're just like, why you got a stuffed nose, Charlotte? I cannot help it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Josie's like, okay. Come on, vámonos. Everybody, let's go. <laughs> Come on, let's get into it. You know that we can do it. This is a little tired, so she's like behind. The Why are you tired? I was just. Oh yeah, you died. <laughs> I died too. It's so did she, but we're not tired. Just a little tired. That's all, but. Whatever. But you have to be redeemed, so you have to come with us because there is a possibility I... that you will be redeemed okay. if you come with I'm, us. I'm not saying I'm not going to come with y'all. Okay, because if you decline, we are ready to kidnap you. I know you are always are. I'm going to go tell Spring that we are going to... The second. Yeah. Okay. Earth. She goes. Just, just... Spring says, oh, hi. You're hi. Back again. What's up? We are go- uh, me and Straw <laughs> and Josie okay. are going to see the creators. And their children. So you're going to the mirror? Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. I'll let you know if something bad happens. You can text me. Oh, hey! You can text me on my cell phone. Oh, hell yeah! Bye! 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 Technology! She goes back to you guys. Okay. Okay, we're ready to go. All right. Drop leads the way. Josie just falls behind the both of them. And he She's... walks through the portal, the mirror. Yay! And you guys see a couple of uh, second timeline crew. They're kind of wandering around the house. Cool. Um, Josie's fine. It's still pretty early in the morning, um, but you do not see Kira. Uh, but you do see Kalani and Hale. They are hanging out with Slasher in the living room. Perfect. Cool. The three that need to get redeemed. Oh my god, is Slasher's mo- redemption to realizing that her influence in her life is not as important as... <laughs> as people? As people. Yeah. yeah, it has to be her redemption. <laughs> what's on the internet is not as important as what's in front of you. Oh my god, my <laughs> iPad. It doesn't matter that much. <laughs> her phone, like, breaks. She's like, I'm actually not that upset about it. <laughs> in fact, I feel relieved. The white, the white line of prayers around her she says that. <laughs> Favorite redemption right there. <laughs> I love that. Oh, right. uh, Kalani notices you guys and she says, "Oh, hi, hi." Uh, my mom and dad are a little busy right now. That's okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, no, I thought you wanted to talk to them. I want to talk to you. I'm <laughs> so, interested. Soren, Soren's in the bathroom. If you wait a second, he'll be here in a second. She That's says, okay. Oh, why? Why are you here? We need to redeem some people. Josie's just like standing looking at me. Oh. A lot of you guys. Oh. Namely, your dad, Deadbolt, Soren, Slasher, Idris, Kalani, Hale, and Ribus. Does Soren still count after that whole memory wipe thing? Okay, just want to make sure. I'm gonna rewrite things. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you know that. <laughs> something coming up. Lonnie says, okay, well, who exactly are you going to try and redeem first? Well, well I don't know yet. This is maybe Idris first. Has Idris been around? Hale says, uh, no. Not uh, no. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, no. No. This is not that we let him. <laughs> no, he says, uh, no, he hasn't been around, but we haven't really been the most, um, Welcoming, shall we say. Uh, we don't even know where his last known location is, so... Damn. Um, maybe ask Gerlin Tower. She might know. We could use the blood vials that she has to track him. That's true. We could do that. This situ- situation sounds ripe for... Redemption. Per. Let us go and get the blood. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We're, I'm definitely not a player character. <laughs> we are all NPCs. <laughs> Straw approaches Gerlin Tower and says, Gerlin Tower. Yeah? We need the blood. Uh, fridge over there, code is 3212. Perfect. You have a lot of blood. Don't worry about it. Perhaps could I have some? No. But it looks good. No. That's racist. That's racist! <laughs> and she's like, this is for research purposes, not for eating purposes. I tried. 
You are not the, you know. Don't ask about it. Uh, maybe, maybe we should just. Maybe we should just get the one and is go. the Idris one? It's the one that Lily says Idris on the side. Oh, I can't read anything. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> it's in doctor's handwriting. That's what he oh. Okay, there you go. Thanks. She does the thing with it. She <laughs> does the thing with it. Love it. Um, he's still in the city, actually. Oh, cool. That's good. Okay, see ya. <laughs> we go find him. Yeah, you go through the city and you walk through um, Kingstonville uh, and uh, you... Anticipate to find him at like you know some kind of outing or bar or something or like a house or something, but no, uh, he is in an alleyway. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, <laughs> What's he doing? Do we know what he's doing? He's just standing there. He's got a blanket and he's sitting there on it. Oh, um, what the fuck? And there's a box. <laughs> Spare change. I'm sorry. Did you Spare change. You became fucking homeless. Spare change. Whore. Whore. <laughs> he became homeless. Um, so 